I said. Good, good. How are you? I'm fine. So, uh, lately I've been confused with the math because they've been teaching us about quadratic equations and quadratic functions, but to me they look like the same thing. So, can't really tell the difference between both of them. So, what, what is it? Why is it not the same thing? Well, there is a huge amount of difference between quadratic equations and quadratic functions. Uh -huh. Equation is like when you say y equals to ax square plus bx plus c, mm -hmm. then that is an equation. Okay. Well, normally what we do is we just replace this y with f of x and we say f of x equals to ax square plus bx plus c and it becomes a function. Yeah. And that's why I think the students get an idea that they're kind of the same thing but function is more half word. Mm -hmm. Well, it is not really like that. Function is a whole lot of different things. Well, yes. in this way, you saw that uh, y equals to fx. That's a type of function. Yeah, is yeah. kind of a replacement. It yeah. looks, but that function actually covers up the equation. But function is much more because you know we can represent function in many different ways. Yeah. If I draw a graph like this, a parabola, you know it's parabola, and so it represents a quadratic function. Yeah. So you know it's not just the equation, and I can give you a table of values. And uh, if you have the table of values and you find first difference and then the second difference, and if the second difference is constant, yeah. uh, then you know it's a quadratic function. Is that yeah. okay? That's right. That's so there are more than one way of representing a quadratic function. Uh, and in each way, the important thing is for any particular input, you get a unique output. Yeah. So you also know <coughs> what input is corresponding to. Uh -huh. And when we talk about equations, then solving equation is only an algebraic solution. Here in quadratic functions, we can have different kinds of solutions. Mm -hmm. If we draw a graph, we can do interpolation of a graph or extrapolation of a yeah. graph. In mapping diagrams, we know what corresponds to what, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And functions also have things like domain, range, how is it rising, behavior, end behavior, what yeah. I'm trying to say. So All these details, things, a lot of details, details in, in a function, function which yeah. we are missing out mm -hmm. on the equations. Yeah. So I hope now you appreciate uh, functions is a very, very big domain mm -hmm. in a, which includes equation itself yeah, right yeah. and f of x gives us a flexibility of you know writing like f of 2 is what f of 0 is what f of that point is what uh -huh. which we lose in writing mm -hmm. just y equals to ax square plus bx plus okay. c that makes and that's why you know we brought this functions in it oh yeah yeah that makes sense that yeah. makes sense that how uh, functions is a very broad topic and uh, f of x is just uh, the equation itself is very small, it's just limited yeah. to that. That makes sense. That's true, and yeah, yeah it gives you a variety, mm -hmm. whole lot of variety and flexibility. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, so that, that definitely yeah. clears the understanding. Uh, yeah, that it opens up the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> All right.